microwave hot pot. So we thought we'd give it a go. Um, here we got our um, uh, fibre paper, we've got some um, thin fire, and then we've got one of our lovely new mandalas and some XL spring leaves. On top of that, I've got a piece of freshly washed kiln shelf I'm going to put down. I'm going to put the lid on. It's going to go in the microwave and we can have a look. After 15 minutes on, there's no red glow in the hole in the middle, so it needs to go on for longer. So now you can see in the middle it's glowing, so it's probably good, so we're going to take it out and have a quick peek. Ooh. It's not really pressed, so it needs to go back in a bit more. So we're going to take a look again, Let's have a little look. So that's quite a nicely pressed down now, so that can sit like this and cool down and we can have a look at a bit. Unfortunately, for some reason, some of it stuck to um, the kiln shelf. I don't know why, because it had a good layer of kiln wash on it, but I'm going to um, give this part a clean up and we can at least have a look at that. So here it is, I've cleaned it up. I'm not sure whether the um, kiln wash was too thick or maybe the fibre paper was getting caught in it. I sort of weirdly got the shape of the leaf here. Um, and there was a load of kind of residue caught in here. I had to give it a sandblast to get it this clean, guys. I did try and run it, and here's got massive pot marks. But I think the the um, kiln wash did kind of get um, you know sort of balled up in these areas. You know, it's interesting. It shows you can press things in the in a uh, microwave kiln. Um, but you know, give it a go. I'm thinking maybe a thin kiln shelf at the bottom and a kiln shelf at the top might be better than um and some little kind of posts on that might be better than having um uh the fiber paper underneath and maybe lighter kiln wash on the kiln shelves we'll carry on experimenting with this but you can see that you can get kind of beautifully thin wafers in a microwave kiln <laughs>